Hey, it's Alice Rhodes Arts. I'm back with 10 cosplay tips. At least so, things that I found helpful when cosplaying. First, when storing wigs, especially long wigs, it's good to brush them out all the way and then put hair ties all the way through it. It'll stop it from getting tangled, if you, especially if you have to put them in a bag in storage and you can't leave them out on a wig head. If you just tie them, add several hair ties for that after brushing it, it should stop it from being getting too tangled. Usually it completely prevents mine from being tangled, but you never know. And it's always good, especially when traveling, because you, if you're, especially if you're going by plane to a con, you don't have a good place to store a long wig, just make sure you add several hair ties before putting it in your luggage, and you should be good to go with very few tangles, if any. So I highly suggest you do that if you're someone like me and has a lot of long wigs and not enough storage space. Okay, tip number two. When washing wigs, I highly su suggest you use actual shampoos and conditioner for wigs. Because I've done shampoos and conditioners that weren't for wigs before because I just didn't know any better and didn't know what what to use or had the right materials at hand and it's caused my wigs to fall apart and completely like ruin them. Also I suggest that you use a leave-in conditioner because it will help prevent it from tangling. It won't, they'll still be tangles but I've noticed that if you do use a leave-in conditioner it does help a bit from preventing it from tangling especially like spraying and using it before you actually go out and wear it for like a day, the whole day, it will help tremendously to prevent some of the tangling from happening. Okay, tip number three. Use a wall hat rack for, you know, the ponytail clip wigs. I do that and it keeps all of them out of the way. They they're not getting tangled, especially if you have like really long ones, they always get tangled. And if they get tangled close to the clip, your wig is pretty much ruined because they are impossible to get out the tangles once they're like right on top of the clip. So you really gotta make sure you store your ponytail clips really well. So I found the cheapest way of doing that is a hat rack. I bought my um, wall hat rack at, on Amazon for like $5 and it has saved me. <laughs> so much. Um, so I just have them all clipped on there and they're out of the way. Um, the only issues I ever had is my dog maybe trying to get at them a few times. So maybe keep them out higher <laughs> so they're out of reach of pets. But then that, it should really help if you're having issues storing any ponytail clips. Okay, tip number four. I use athletic tape to um, just tape up the side of my face some, from time to time to have that stronger jawline because I have a very rounded face so I have like no jawline next to like it's not very strong, it's super feminine so if I'm doing someone who I feel is more masculine I usually always try to do that it's um not good to leave it on for too long and you need to be careful when taking it off but if you really want to have a more masculine look it'll definitely help at least with bringing a stronger jawline so I suggest picking up some of this off of Amazon or something hey tip number five use eyelash glue eyelash glue can help keep your wig on so let's say if you put some glue just right here and lay your wig down and just hold it, it will stay like that for the rest of the day until you actually have to add water to slowly get it off. But it will keep your wig on so you don't have to worry about it falling off, especially if you're going to be really active or you know, you're going to be walking a lot. Or even like if you do idle stuff like I do and you're going to be doing a dance crew, gluing your wig down will really help keep at least the bangs and everything in place. And you could also use it to help with concealing like gluing right here so you can't it makes your wig lay more naturally and look more like natural hair so I highly suggest doing that 
Okay, tip number six. Always have fashion tape on hand. You never know what co part of your costume isn't going to lay well or you need that extra tape just to hold it down to help have a more finishing look or even just to make it more comfortable for you to wear throughout the day. And I'd also always carry it with you at a con because even though it holds pretty well, you never know if it's going to come undone and after it usually comes undone, you have to completely replace the tape that you were using. So always try to have that handy because you never know when you're going to need it. Okay, tip number seven. A basic tip for styling wigs. This is the main thing I do to style my wigs. You just mix glue and water and you can run it for your wig to help certain pieces hold together or you can even if you put a lot on you can use it to hold up hair like this this one's a little messed up because I haven't been storing it that well but it'll help hold the wig hair up so you have spikes um, it's very simple and easy to do sometimes you'll after several uses especially if you wash your wig you're gonna have to touch it up every once in a while but it should hold for like a con or two. So it's a good and cheap way to keep your wig styled, especially if you only need to do like a few spikes here and there. It's a definitely a great way to start, especially if you never styled a wig. It's a good way to start to start learning how to. Okay, tip number eight. You can use these plastic crochet things. Plastic crochet sheets. I use them to help form like shapes and stuff for costumes, especially ones I'm going to cover with fabric or even make certain parts of a costume more stiff. And it works really well and it's cheap because you, know, you can buy like several sheets for like five dollars and it's a cheap way to try to add more shape and form to a costume. So I suggest picking these up and keeping them on hand because you never know what you might need use them for and just in general be experimental and find different items for different to try to use to make different shapes to make your costume look more like from the show or more like realis realistic it's always helpful to try new things <laughs> okay tip number nine this is more of a suggestion. Um, try to use light makeup, especially like with your foundation. Try to get lighter makeup because you always have to put on so much for costumes. Always wear so much and it gets really heavy. It's not good for your skin. It can make your skin irritated. I know at the end of a con, I know my skin starts to break out and get really irritated because of all the makeup I'm wearing all the time. So try to at least try to help a little bit with getting something that feels lighter on your face. Um, you can also try to help by wearing less makeup when like on everyday stuff so your skin's feeling pretty good before you go and like destroy it by wearing so much costume makeup for a weekend. Um, Cause that stuff can be really damaging to your skin and it just makes you feel like all icky and gross by the end of like a convention. So doing little things like that can help with making you so you don't feel as bad. I think it seems to help me. So I figured I'd suggest it. So see if it could help you make your for your skin feels healthier and better after all that cosplaying. Okay, tip number 10. If you need a last minute finishing spray or you forgot yours or for any reason, you could always use hairspray. It will work pretty well. It won't work with um, body paint because body paint needs its own special stuff to really hold it. But with any of your regular makeup, if you're worried about it running and you forgot your finishing spray, you could always just get by with hairspray for a day. I don't suggest doing this all the time, but it's definitely good to keep in mind if you need something last minute. So we've all forgotten things at conventions before. Okay, so those are my 10 tips. I hope that they could be a little bit helpful to you. 
um, I highly suggest checking out everyone else's um, cosplay tip videos. I know I will. Because um, you can always learn something new from everyone. Because everyone finds out different things. It's all... Cosplay is a lot about just experimenting to find out what works and what doesn't. That's why I like it. <laughs> um, if you want to see more from me, you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be below. Also, check out my Patreon. For a dollar, you can get my videos a week early, plus um, some extra videos here and there. So, make sure to check that out. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next Wednesday. Bye!